This next program is a lumbosacral support. Um, I have one here. And I wanted to mention, uh, on most of these products, uh, there are fitting instructions for the patient on the inside of the packaging. Uh, so that's very, very good. You can just, uh, the, the, the patient education's already done for you as far as something for them to take home. So uh, lumbosacral support would typically be used for any dysfunction, uh, either disc or facet joint dysfunction at the lumbosacral region. Use the L5-S1, but it could be that whole general area. Uh, and again, uh, compressive support can do a lot of good. It will, by, by supporting the abdominal, the lower abdominal wall especially, that helps take tension off the muscles and helps, uh, the, helps the biomechanical balance of the spine. And so usually they'll help for someone with an achy back like you. Um, no, so um, again, we're gonna take measurements. Uh, this is also fit on a, on a snug hip measurement. So I wanna see the patient from the side, there we go. And we'll take that measurement uh, at the fullest part of the buttocks. Um, and and instead, of, instead of just gently snug, you really wanna crank on this one and make it a very, very snug hip measurement because uh, that's how the products are sized. In addition, you may also want, for your medical documentation, a natural waistline uh, taken at that point above the hip bone, below the rib cage, it would be the natural waist. Um, and a length, um, uh, length measurement, both posterior and anterior. While we're back here, the posterior length measurement would be from the inferior angle of the scapular spine or the bottom of the wing bone, drop down two inches to the distal margin of the sacrum and that would be at the top of the crease of the buttocks. Those align anatomically. So there's that measurement. Uh, we also would want an anterior length measurement. And if I could turn you around, Ms. Kiera, we're gonna go here from the, the top of the rib cage, which is the xiphoid process. Um, so we're, we're gonna find that bone. And then if you could point to your symphysis pubis, the bone below your belly button, uh, we'll get that measurement. And so now we have an anterior length measurement. So document all of those, but again, you're gonna size this to the hip measurement. So we can get the product, um, and, and um, this happens to be a size medium-large. Is that right, medium-large? Yeah. Um, so one of the unique features about this is that uh, based on how this is designed, you can fit uh, well over 90% of your patients in just three sizes, because as the sizes go up, the height also increases. And so uh, they're all progressively sized like that, uh, where you can fit a broad, broad ass ass assortment of patients uh, with very, very minimal inventory. So three sizes fit most, and there are a just call for larger sizes yet. Um, so uh, uh, this device also has hand loops on it. So we simply open the product up, and I will fit this to the patient. It won't offer the compressive support uh, uh, that it will when she does it to herself, but I need to go through the process to teach her how to put it on herself. So we're gonna start with the back, and, and again, the bottom of the support should come right to the top of the crease of her buttocks or to the distal margin of the sacrum. It should be centered on her spine. Uh, she was kind enough to hold that for me. Then we can do the anterior closing and the bottom of the support here should be at the level of symphysis pubis. So we'll bring this around and, and you can see I'm kind of limited as far as how much compressive support I can give her because I don't want to twist her spine. Uh, but I do need to teach her the correct location for the device. Uh, now that it's on, there are pull tabs on the side, if I can rotate you a little bit. And again, hand loops here, just peel that off and I'm gonna rotate you a little bit to the front, please. There we go. I need to stabilize this spine, uh, this, this, um, th this pelvis, and then I can pull on this loop and do that cinch strap. And I can do the same thing over here, teaching the patient that this is what you'll be doing. And here, it's always beneficial to try these in different locations. Some patients will feel more support if we put this relatively down lower. And, and so you try that on both sides, and how does that feel? Uh, then we peel it off, <clears throat> and we put both cinch tabs up towards the top, and that'll just offer a little bit different uh, level of support, and, and some patients may feel better with the tab here. So it's always worthwhile to, to find out if your patient benefits most from a lower position or a higher position. And, and so that's the fitting process. We're explaining this to the patient as we go. 
we want to also teach the patient how to validate that they have the right spot or position. So we ask the patient to please sit down. And when they sit down, uh, the bottom of the device should come right to the crease uh, at the groin. Uh, and this is, is located uh, perfectly. If it's too low, it may dig into their groin a little bit and be uncomfortable. We don't want to do that. And if it's too high, there, there'll be some space here. And then we're not grabbing the lower abdominal wall and we're not giving, providing the support that we should. So it should be right at that groin and, and we teach the patient uh, anytime they put it on to go ahead and sit down and check that, that it's at the right height. So we've done the fitting. We're asking the patient to get up. Uh, now they need to become comfortable with the device. So we ask the patient to take it off by removing the cinch tabs first. And those just peel off again and should be placed to the very back of the Velcro material in the front here, the plush material, uh, just in front of the elastic. There we go, beautiful. And then take the anterior panel off. And that comes off like so, beautiful, that's great. And then uh, teach the patient how to touch the Velcro down so this Velcro hook doesn't get caught on whatever and it get tangled up. So um, now the patient's taken it completely off. Now we really want them to be comfortable using the device. So I would like you to show me how to put this back on, please. So here's we find out if uh, they've been paying attention or not. So um, they open it up and get it uh, right side up is an important thing. So the tab's on the top, that's great. Uh, then teach the patient how to pull it out to the side and not just around and pull it out to the side and then touch it down in front. Um, by bringing it out like that, that removes the friction um, and you get a much better compression on the closure. When it's fit like that, excellent job, excellent job. When it's fit like that, you'll notice that there are spirals here on the side. Those should line up equidistant on both sides. Uh, so the patient will know it's centered on their back and that's important. Uh, so she did that very, very well. Uh, then she uses the pull tabs or cinch straps and does, do the, does those simultaneous. And she's gonna try it down low first and feel what kind of support that provides. And then she's gonna try it up higher on the, on the support. And that just tilts the pelvis just a little bit, a little bit of an influence there. And usually one will feel better than the other for, for one patient or another. Uh, typically they feel more support from if it's down low, but occasionally you have that patient that feels better support here. So uh, it's worth trying both. Uh, now the patient has, has, has demonstrated to us that they're comfortable fitting the device. Uh, we have some assurance that they'll be compliant in the device because it feels good, takes that pressure off your back, holds that lower abdominal uh, um, area up, and, and that's what relieves the pressure on the spine uh, where the problem is. And, and this can be a very, very comfortable support that they can wear and, and be more active with less pain. And so the, the device can do its job if it's fit right and if the patient knows how to fit it right. So very important to go through that step-by-step -step process in, in this instructional process. Uh, with that, doing good? Doing good.